up guys? So we're here with the SC300 and um, we recently worked on patching up the wiring harness, uh, took it for another test drive and it's already rubbing right through again. So um, today we're actually going to focus on relocating that wiring harness. So um, we're going to take the wheel off here, show you the, uh, the issues with that. We'll go in the cab and unplug the wires, um, pull it through up by the um, windshield wiper fluid, uh, reroute it and plug it back in. So uh, let's get started. All right, we got the wheel off here. See that we got the coilovers, which is the problem. We're way too slammed here. And it's rubbing all in here. And I even patched it and it one drive it rubbed through and rubbed a few wires again, two wires right here. So we're gonna relocate it. We're gonna take all the plastic um, it liner in off and then we'll get to the wires here in a second All right, let's disconnect the battery here Before we get into the wiring All right, we took the cowling off here and we got all the wires exposed and you can see here where the damage uh, was caused on my test drive um, so I'll repair these wires again and then I'll start removing this plastic piece here. Um, get this off completely. Um, take all this off and then we'll start actually taking uh, this off here towards the driver's side uh, and we'll start then unplugging near the fuse box, box, pull this out and up through. Um, we'll get it all the way out of there. So more to come here next. All right, we're gonna repair couple wires here that uh, were rubbed on so we're gonna use these here um, they are shrink tubing heat shrink tubing so um, since the wires are not cut I'm actually gonna cut the tubing uh, down the middle here with some scissors and then use the torch to heat them up and uh, do a little press to um, seal the deal on these wires let's go for it I get my heat wrap shrink on there just like that. Use this to block the flame from the other wires. Heat it up and then pinch it and hold for a second. Heat it up and then pinch it for a second. Don't burn yourself. Keep going, make sure it's overlapping a little bit, put your heat guard up, a little bit of flame, and pinch it. All right. All right, that wire is covered up. Okay, we're now gonna cut all of this out of here so we can get the wiring harness free from underneath. We pulled that down here, kind of remove all that here. <clears throat> and then um, we'll start over here and take that out. Taking this layer of tape off here so we can get this plastic piece out of here. It's like Toyota just used basically electrical tape, which makes sense. that top layer right there. There, there it goes. That plastic housing. We don't need that anymore. Let 
wiring harness should basically come right out of here. There it goes. The housing here, here and here, this is a 10 millimeter. All right, I got the carpet pulled back. Just grab it and give it some force. This little pin will come out here and here. No big deal. Uh, they're designed to do that. Um, this one and this one. And then we've got to remove uh, a couple pins, starting with way down in here behind this carpet. If you can see that, it's going to be the pin that is right. Let's see, down here. So not this blue one, but the green one underneath that. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. That green one right down there. So there's the, f the fuse box is up here. So it's down, down, down. And it's not this blue one, but the green one right underneath that one. And then up there, we've got to get the green one just to the top right of the fuse box so we're gonna get those all right we got this one off right up here that one there's actually a pin right here that you press to get it out and for, unfortunately mine broke but that's no big deal um, but there's a little pin that you can use a really small screwdriver to to push to pull that out all right next we actually have to get this little a uh, white one and then there's a white one right above this yellow one and I believe we're gonna have to take this yellow one out to get to this white one but those are the last two right there and you can see it runs together into this where the wiring harness is so all right let's get those two and we'll be done we can pull it out of the car all right we got this little white one out it was super simple you just press on that little tab right there with the screwdriver, that one came right out. Next, I think what we're gonna do is try to pull this blue one in order to get to the white one. So we're gonna do the blue one and then plug the blue one back in and then we'll get to that white one. All right, there's a really pesky hard one that's up above the yellow, the big yellow wire that everyone's talking about that you need to remove, this one. This one is above it up here and everyone's talking about how hard this one is to get to. I made a little trick here. All right, so got a clothes hanger, and I just put, got a little hook on the end of it, made a little loop so I could grab onto it, and I slid that right on this part right there of this, of this pin. It was able to push down and pull out at the same time, and it got it out instantly. So that's the little trick to that really hard one that's up there up there above the yellow one. I'll show you where it went. It goes up here. It goes up here in that slot right there above this yellow one. It's right there. It comes out this way. All right, we got it all out. Put this blue one back where it goes, right there, so that I don't forget. And now we can pull the wires out through there. All right, that little trick was simple. A little clothes hanger, cut it, made a little hook on the end of it. Can you see that hook? Just a little hook so I could push down and pull out at the same time. And that worked perfectly. All right, now that we got the wires unplugged and we got the bolts off here, we're gonna pull this grommet back here and we are going to pull the wires through. Make sure we have all of them. It looks like there's one more that we might need to unplug. Let's go look at that. All right, next we're going to remove the reservoir. So we're gonna take the battery out of its place here. And then we're going to unscrew, undo this bolt here. That's a 10 millimeter bolt there. And then we'll have plenty of room 
to feed that wire in through that hole, wiring harness in through that hole right there. All right. All right, we're feeding it through there. And we got these big plastic connectors here that used to snap onto the top. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove those, just cut, cutting those off right here. And they'll be able to slide through there easier. All right, we got the wiring to come all the way through. I took off this uh, plastic grommet, uh, this covering piece that was inside uh, there just a little bit. As soon as I took that off, it came right through there. So we're gonna inspect the wires. It looks like one right here needs to be repaired a little bit more. And then we actually bought some um, wire conduit. Um, basically you slide this over the wire and it'll protect it. And then we'll tape the ends and we will install it through here through the cabin. All right, we've got the wire casing on there and uh, we're gonna go ahead and tape up a few spots. I'm, I don't wanna tape it too much because, you know, having to have repaired so many wires, um, I might have to come back and, and retouch up some wires. So uh, it looks pretty good, but we're, we'll go ahead and get this taped up and then we'll put it into place and then we'll be going in through that hole right there, right uh, to the right of the uh, brake fluid. All right, I got it fed back through, so I'm gonna go into the cab and pull them through, and then I will get this plate put back into place, uh, and then plug everything in. Um, it's looking pretty good. I'm also going to take this yellow wire here that almost got chewed through, and I'm gonna pull it down, and I'm gonna zip tie it and reroute it a little bit as well. Um, so we'll get that done, but that looks real clean now all the way through there. We'll get the reservoir put back on, the battery back on, put on, plugged in, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. We'll see how it turns out here in a few minutes. All right, I got everything plugged back in, routed through and plugged back in. Also, the carpet was really easy. You just push it, push it underneath the seal here. Uh, maybe like a little screwdriver, push it under there get that tucked and then this just pushed in and I just hit it and it popped back right back into place all right let's check out the wiring job here underneath got that all bolted back in here I might cover up these wires with some tape here but got it all routed in there all the way up through that hole right in there and in it's looking good all right let's put the battery back in and the washer reservoir and then we'll put the cowling back on that bad boy right there we'll put that back on and the wheel we'll uh, see how it drives <clears throat> all right we got her all buttoned up what's remaining of the cowling here Obviously no more wires here. It's all buttoned up. Put the tire on, go test driver. All right, we're taking her for a spin. We just got all the wiring done. We're heading out. Let's see how she runs. Second 
gear peel out right there on that Yui. Woo! She's handling pretty good. she's running thanks for watching to the end come back for more street racing and car content on my new project car the lexus sc300